Hey guys, Barb from TST Industries here. In this video, we're gonna show you the installation of these Womit Tech adjustable racing levers on a Yamaha FZ09, also known as the MT09. This lever set actually also fits the Yamaha FZ07 model. The installation is exactly the same, so if you own one of those bikes, you'll be able to follow along the same steps as we show in this video. Now these levers feature six levels of adjustability they are machined out of billet aluminum and then anodized for a nice durable finish. You will not be disappointed with these levers. I really like them personally. I use them on all my bikes and I hope you guys will give them a shot too. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, we are going to begin the process on the clutch side of the bike. We'll grab the clutch lever and begin the disassembly of the OEM lever from the perch. So first, I like to turn in the cable adjuster. We are turning it clockwise towards the outboard direction on the bike. And we are going to stop turning it as soon as we have clearance of the cable through the slot that needs to be aligned with the slot in the perch right here. And once that's out, it's pretty straightforward beyond that. Now I'm gonna remove the nut. There's one single 10 millimeter nut that's threaded onto this pivot bolt here. And the pivot bolt is a carriage bolt style fastener in that it's keyed and it doesn't need any sort of a tool holding it from the top. Show you guys that in just a second. Once the nut is off, we can push the pivot bolt through. You can see the key on this bolt. All right, so now the lever is free to come out. Just have to manipulate it and make sure that as we're taking it out, we do not damage the uh, clutch reed switch. All right. Now we'll just flip this lever over to extract the cable. Just like that. And one more thing that needs to be done is this bearing that's pressed inside it needs to be taken out. Got it pressed out far enough so I could get grab it by hand here. And now we'll take that out of this lever, put the lever to the side. Going to grab a rag and clean off these surfaces. If your bike is brand new, technically don't need to do this, but if it's been in service for a little bit, you wanna wipe off any grime that's collected on these bearing surfaces to ensure nice smooth action. And we will re-grease all these components before we reinstall them. All right, so everything looks clean now. We can grab the lever and get this bearing installed in it. Oh, this actually popped in a little bit easier than I thought. I like to keep it halfway out and then apply some grease to that big old grease gun here. I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the outside of the bearing that will interface with the lever. Now I'm gonna get some on the inside of that bearing. And at this point, I'm just gonna wipe it around just to make sure I get in a nice coating inside all these bearing surfaces. And then also once the pivot bolt goes through, you want that to also be greased. And I'm just gonna add a small additional amount of grease in there to go inside. And distribute that all over that inside of that bearing. We'll coat a little bit of the flat surfaces of this circular feature 
on the lever so that when it mates with the perch, it's greased up and ready to go. So, with the bearing in, and my pivot bolt ready to go, close to my hand, I am going to flip this lever over, get the cable end in, and then rotate the lever like that, and then bring it right side up. Now it's ready to go in the perch. I'm gonna seat this, this mating surface in the perch, and I'm gonna to hop to the bottom here, and I have a trick to doing this. I press in the reed switch so that it's depressed, and then I push in the lever. This prevents me from pressing against the switch nipple and shearing it off in the process of assembly here. I've seen guys make that mistake a couple times and there's a pretty good trick to prevent that. All right, so now we can get the pivot bolt in and secure the lever in place. We'll get the cable on and just turn the adjuster a little bit so that the cable doesn't pop out. To wipe all the excess grease off. If you have excess grease on these surfaces, chances are you will be collecting a bunch of debris and road grime and stuff. You don't want that on a nice clean setup. All right, so now I'm gonna grab the nut that goes on the bottom of the pivot bolt and get that threaded on. I like to thread this on by hand without using a tool so I get good thread engagement without the possibility of cross threading it. And now using my tool while pressing on the pivot bolt so that stays in its key. I'm gonna tighten this up. And the nut has a locking element to it so once you get it engaged, it won't come off from road vibration. So you don't have to over tighten it. You wanna make sure that you don't have any wobble here. Eh, maybe I'll tighten it just a little bit more. Okay, that looks good to me. Now I'm gonna tighten up the cable. And now there are a couple trains of thought on proper cable tightening technique. I suggest that for proper technique, you look in your owner's manual on the bike. I'm gonna show you how I do it. You should definitely choose the best way for yourself. All right, so for me, I like to make sure that I still have a little bit of travel in the lever at maximum deflections of the bars. That way the, the clutch is not being pulled while I'm at the limits of the steering. Now you don't want it to have a lot of slop, but just a little bit. So the brake side procedure is fairly similar. We're gonna begin by undoing the pivot bolt nut from the bottom. Once again, it is a 10 millimeter. On this side of the bike, we have a slotted head pivot bolt instead of a carriage bolt. So we'll use a flathead screwdriver to extract that. Once that comes out, the lever just pops off. We'll put that to the side, grab our rag, and just like on the left side of the bike, we'll just clean off any old grimy grease, make room for some nice new fresh grease, get rid of debris from in here. All right, so I'm gonna grab the grease Get the shoulder of this pivot bolt greased up and also 
put a little bit of grease on the flat surface surfaces that will be mating in the master cylinder. I'll grab my pivot bolt with the grease on it and throw that inside this lever. Spin it around, making sure that I have a nice distribution of that grease. And now we can begin fitting new lever in the master cylinder. Now in this master cylinder, we have brake reed switch here and the piston for the actual brake master here. So let's make sure that everything engages properly. This lever has a little hole in here for this piston. So that needs to go in. There's a crucial step here. If that does not mate, those two parts don't mate, you will not have brake action. And once we align that in there, it needs a little bit of pressure on the piston to align the hole in the lever and the hole in the mount in the master cylinder. So you'll have to press it in and then get this pivot bolt through. Now gently find the threads, feel any tightness, back it out. You don't want to cross thread this component. It's kind of expensive. All right, I'm just gonna tighten it to the stop. Make sure that I have brake action. As you can hear, the brake read switch is actually actuating. It's making a little clicking noise. And visual inspection of the piston for the, the master cylinder shows me that it's actually going in and out. So we're good to go here. I'm gonna replace the nut on the bottom of this pivot bolt. Is a locking nut. We'll bottom it out and that's about it. Once again I like to check at the end of the install and make sure I have proper brake movement. This is crucial to the safety of this motorcycle so you don't want to leave anything to chance. Check and recheck after every step until you're done. Wipe off all the grease and I have a nice brake lever here. Better mechanical advantage than the OEM levers. Killer look, six levels of adjustment. Really excited about this. Let's adjust this. Just like on the clutch side, you have six levels that you could uh, try this lever on. This looks good to me. I'm really satisfied with this. Bike's ready to go. In case you guys are interested in diff different color adjusters, if red doesn't match your color scheme on your bike and you wanna spice it up a little bit, we do offer different colors of adjusters. They come in a kit, you can replace them and have a lever that's black body, black fulcrum, and a color for the adjuster that matches your color scheme. All right, so besides that, we're pretty much done here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave us some comments. We love hearing from you. Click that subscribe button and see you next time.